Hello friends, how's everybody doing? This is your friend Jeff playing Ultimate General Civil War. The Union Campaign. BG difficulty with the JMP T10 test mod. And um, I can show you that because I play two campaigns, um, I got this one confused. And I'm going to tell you that I uh, believe it or not, I already beat Richmond, and I made videos of it, but I guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to... Pl I forgot the battle uh, that's hiding in the bottom of the screen. So, um, anyways, that's a kind of like a dilemma to me. Because uh, with these five cores here, I already beat Richmond. And, you know, I thought I was done with the campaign, but but then I would be one battle short. Um, um, so let me just give you a quick overview of me as I prepared this for uh, Richmond, but yet, and I played it, and I made videos of it, but guess what? I didn't do the battle previous to that. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. And I don't know why I was, I thought, I only had uh, Richmond to do, and I made all. I made these two rookie cores. Other than, you know, anybody that's a two star, obviously. So yeah, and and I'm going to tell you something too. If you go to the armory. You can see here that I sold everything. Like as if I was at the end of the campaign. That's why I have a million and a half dollars here. Because um, I thought I was at the end of the campaign, and I'm not. So, um, I want to tell you that um, for this core here, I spent $850,000 to buy uh, the Jocelyn's. Uh, this rifle here. It has a high fire rate and it has 80 melee and so what I did is I sold off all the rifles and I bought um, every weapon that every one of these guys that has right every weapon is a weapon that has 80 melee unless it is uh, a weapon such as um, this like the Henry which is like a repeating rifle, um, and the Spencers, you know, but, so I got Springfield 63s, I have Hopper Fairies, and I have Jocelyn's, and that's it for the infantry, like, that's all that they got. I have no infields, I have no 61s, no nothing, it's all Jocelyn, but, like I said, just for this core here, of all the infantry that you see here, it cost $850,000 to give them those weapons. But I made a fundamental error, and, and this is my best core and stuff, and it's kind of funny, because uh, now I'm going to go to this and I'll show you what I mean, because this is like ridiculous, <laughs> right? I played uh, Richmond because I didn't see this right down here, Georgia <laughs> Railroad. So, um... I think what I'm going to do is just do this Georgia Railroad, right? This battle. Because I already have Rich Richmond uh, done, I believe, right? Yeah, so I mean, so it's going to be like, uh, it's kind of weird. What? <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of funny. Okay, so this is like after the fact, okay? But I have to... But I have to put this in the order of, of the way it is when I upload it. So I will have to put Washington, I mean Richmond after this, even though uh, Richmond's already done. So it, it, it's kind of it's kind of funny in a way. So I'm just gonna go in with the fifth core because <laughs> this is so because they have the Jocelyns. Like all infantry has the Jocelyns. So, you know what I mean? So, as you can see here, it's 24,000, it's 84 guns, 
It's 27,081 uh, guns. <laughs> this is so funny <laughs> that I I already did Richmond, so I'm not gonna obviously just do this and then do Richmond. The, 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 to, to me, the war is over, so here we go. <laughs> this is so hilarious. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. So Richmond, I already won Richmond, and now I gotta go and do this. This, isn't this hilarious? All right, so I got to take a look at this because I haven't done this in a long time, so I got to figure out this, but... Oh my gosh, this is a defensive battle anyway. So, I, and remember, all my knowledge is from the UI mod and I'm playing the JMP, but I just... I, I am so tickled uh, funny about this, like this is hilarious that I, I missed this down at the corner there. And then when I was going to upload files, I was saying, hey, I'm missing one. Like, how can I go from battle 36 to battle 38? So I was missing 37, and this is really the 37. So, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of weird. I'm wondering if it was because of that, that Fort C Stevens that screwed me up or something. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and play this like as if I play... Um, U, the UI mod. I'm gonna assume that I can, um, I, that I can do it. So yeah, um, we're gonna need uh, some, you know, infantry along here, and then I'm gonna need infantry. And, and I'm, you know, I got infantry. I got guns. I got all kinds of stuff. And I think this is where they hit us hard, somewhere in these areas, and then they hit us hard over here. But again, that's for the UI mod, and I don't know about this one. So again, but like I said, I'm going to tell you, every infantry here has a jostling. And I'll explain that in a moment, but I think, okay, so one infantry here, one infantry here, then a couple. We're going to need to cover this. And so like I said, every every guy has a jostling, so it ain't like I need to put Hopper Fairy somewhere or the other ones. And so like I said, I think I'm not gonna have a problem. I mean I I beat I beat Richmond, so and I'm just it's kinda weird that I did it like I, I didn't know, like I screwed up, you know, obviously. But I, but I think, like I said, I'm just gonna do this battle to get this battle in, to show you it. And, but after this battle, um, I don't have to do this anymore because, you know, this, this campaign is over. It's kind of weird. So, all right, so we might be a little light here and now these 20 pounders like I said, this this fifth core is 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 a, is a, and again, I loaded the game up like before I did the Richmond, so the, so it still stands the same that these one star infantry units are rookies, okay? But these guys have been now gonna fight in two battles. They already fought in Richmond, and now now they have to fight again like as if they didn't fight Richmond and it's kind of this is de de definitely weird all right so this 24 is not going to do me good there so this 24 will be better over here and it's my long distance like the siege weapons will be good over here and I have a 20 and a 20 uh, and my sniper, we'll have to find a place for him. And like I said, I don't know where they're all going to hit me, but I believe I've got enough coverage. Like I, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not worried. Seeing I already beat Richmond, so I, I, I'm not, I can't, I can't be totally, 
I mean, like I said, in the UI mod, this is a very tough battle, even on BG. So, I mean, but when you beat, when you already beat Rich Richmond and, and I somehow missed this, uh, so you're going to get the benefit of, of knowing that I already uh, beat it. So, but anyways, okay, you there, uh, you there, let me see, you, you go there, uh, you take it there. You back him up, and uh, you, you're going to back him up. And the 24 can um, probably move right to there. Now, we're obviously going to need a unit right there. We need, okay, so let's put you right there. Let's put, let's put you right there. You go there, and then you are going to be in the middle. And matter of fact, maybe you can go in the middle right here so you can cover both people if they get um, meleeed. You're there. All right, so now we got a little gap here, so I'm going to put one unit there. One unit's coming here. This guy's going to come over here. In fact, even my sniper can get over there, maybe. Now you got to take this. And like I said, I'm not even gonna worry about breaking off skirmishes. I'm, I'm just like I said, I, I've already beat Richmond, so uh, if I if I can beat Richmond, uh, and it was relatively easy, so I'm, I'm gonna tell you that um, this cannot be uh, too bad if if that's the case. So I'll put the gun there. I mean, I got like this core. This core has six artillery units. All my other cores only have four. And then this guy's perk, um, which is uh, Bobby Woods, I believe. Like, I think he, I don't know if he's the one that started the game, uh, you know, as an artillery unit. But um, <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of funny now. Are you supposed to be getting there or what, dude? Let's go. Are you guys taking so long? My goodness. how slow they're going. Maybe I need to speed it up a little bit. All right. Um, okay, so I have two units here. So, yeah, they, they got to back up these guys because um, from what I remember in the UI mod, um, they hit us hard here. Like, and, and they always, like, blow my guys off the line here. So... I think that's where these guys have got to come in. Like, I got it covered. I mean, I think if he's here and then this guy is going to hold here, maybe he should be in the woods a little bit for cover. Um, I got him in reserve. I got my sniper here. Um, and, and we have a siege weapon here. So the siege weapon can hit anything. Um, another siege weapon right here. So, I mean... Uh, that's got that covered. And the 24 here, in case they hit us here, we'll have that. And I got a 24 over there. I have a 20 pounder right here. And I got a 20 right here too, so that's pretty good. Yeah, look at... I might... I might have to bust off skirmishers just so that way we can see the enemy. Now I should have a cavalry unit. Yeah, I do. So usually, like on the UI mod, I usually have to have the cavalry over here. I'll somehow swing it around down here to try to steal their supply wagon or something. Um, I could use it over here if they charge us. I only have, uh, well, you know. Yeah, and yeah, and his sa this is the same problem I had uh, with um, Richmond. Their units are only that they're, they're small. But like I said in Richmond, and I'll say it right here. Um, I did not change the the uh, the config file, like for their size. Like their size is still the default one. So if I put default two. I mean, if I don't put default to, but if I add it to, then it would probably double their size, which would be nice. But 
I didn't know, I don't know that for sure. And so all I'm trying to say is, um, if this looks overwhelming, which the bar doesn't, I mean, it looks kind of even actually, so I'm okay with this. Oh, maybe this is the way it's supposed to be. But, I don't know. So, okay, so let me see. I got... Yeah, uh, hold on now. Okay, I want the siege weapon to shoot that gun right there. You cannot shoot it? Then get over here. Get over here where you can shoot it. You gotta be able to shoot that. What's the point of having long distance guns if you can't shoot? So then you shoot that one. Now this 20 will shoot that one. This 20 will shoot that infantry that's moving in on us. So yeah, I was a little concerned that their units are not that big, and I don't know the reason for it. Um, so if anybody like uh, Something Compass or um, Panda or whatever can tell me, I, I just don't know. Okay, now is it possible that my 20 can hit this one right here? Like... Yeah, you, you hit that gun there. You're hitting that gun. What's the point of having siege weapons if they can't hit the targets? Alright, you hit that guy there. Now, I can have this 20 shoot this gun. He's now in range. And this siege weapon's supposed to shoot that gun. I don't care about the infantry right now. I, I want to see what they can do to me. I'm in a defensive position. And like I said, th their units are like 700, 800, 600. And, like I said, I don't know if it's because I'm getting wipes in the game, or I'm getting... I'm doing something. Like, I don't know. I mean, my units are 1250, so I would think that they would be around 1000, or... Like, even if they were 1400, it wouldn't be too bad. So, I mean... But, like I said, I know, I know Panda told me that... You know, you can go into config and change things to make it easier or harder. But I just think by default, and I'm going to say by default, like I don't know, this is a BG difficulty in the J, the T10 and stuff. And it looks like they're doing a center attack instead of... Uh, a flank attack. So I got all this here for nothing, this 24. Maybe this 24 should, could come over here. Maybe it won't be needed. Maybe they won't do a hard attack. I mean they are they are forming over here, so it's possible. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to decide here. Okay, so now the siege can shoot this one. And this siege is also trying to shoot at him. So we'll do that. Um, let's take an overview of, the, of this.
Well, I, I hear Calvary, but I don't see it. So yeah, it's kind of kind of weird having to do this after I already won Richmond, but I, you know, I gotta I, I gotta at least show you guys this battle. I mean, even though, you know, I mean, I already you know completed the campaign. So I mean, I don't think it I don't think it matters. Like, um, you know what I mean? Like I I don't I don't want to have to do it again. You know what I mean? Like so I I don't think it really matters. So. And, and and I would use this core anyway. Like I, I, I could have used my best core, which would be really nuts, if I used my first core, because they're all two stars and a, and three star artillery and a three star. Um, but you but you'll see that in the uh, Richmond battle. So I mean I, I, you know. So I just wanted to put the fifth core in because these are the guys. Uh, that I put in first to fight in Richmond and they did pretty good as just one star rookie units but they do have a, a $50,000 uh, rifles like they have 50 every one of these infantry units costs 50,000 to give them a Jocelyn but that's how many Jocelyns that I that I had the money that I could buy it with by this once once you're at this part of the the campaign, you all those guns that you captured and saved until you got economy at 10, then you can sell them. Like I sold rebounds, rebores. I sold the rebores, and I and I had over 200,000 just from the rebores. I mean that gave me 200,000. Because after the uh, last battle, or uh, before this one, okay? Because I didn't see this one when I played Richmond, and I. But when I was getting ready to upload files, or at least get the files ready to be uploaded, I realized I was missing a battle. So I said no, and I came back in, and I realized that I did not do this battle. So, so. So you're getting to see this battle after the fact, you know what I mean? But, but like I said, even though their units are small, they got a lot of them because they're they're you know the bar is even. But <clears throat> they need to penetrate me uh, in order to win, and so if they're just going to do a standoff stuff, then. They're not gonna succeed. And it's the same thing that happened in Richmond. Although they did charge me in Richmond. Okay, so now um we need ammo down here. I mean, I got I got six artillery units. I think just two 24s and and the other four are all uh, siege or 20 pounders. And look at this sniper is just sitting here firing at this unit right here. And look, they don't need this gun is going down. Like look at a siege weapon is shooting him. This siege one, matter of fact, I think I'll put this siege on that one right there. And this 20, this 20 was going to already turn anyway to shoot at him. And we have a 20 right here. But you know what? I don't think we need to shoot the infantry. I think we need to shoot, uh, like the 24s. The 24s can shoot infantry. But but I I want the 20s to shoot artillery. Oh, uh, see, but he wants to shoot the closest. I mean, oh, I, I don't know how you stop that. But whatever. 
I'll just let him do whatever he's gonna do, I guess. It's funny that my sniper is just sniping away, just having fun. I mean, I, I could possibly... I mean, let's take... Hey! Hey! Hey, you, you idiot! Oh. <laughs> this doesn't matter, but... My 24 pounder moved instead of shooting! And he just got gobbled up. <laughs> That's my 24 pounder. But it doesn't matter. The campaign is over. So, so uh, all right. I'm down. Okay, so now I only have five artillery because I made a mistake of trying to point him to shoot at the guy. Except he, he took it as an order to move. And he just got wiped out because they're all right here. Of course, if you put a unit right here, that unit's going to get wiped out. So, but it doesn't matter, folks. The campaign is over. <laughs> this is so funny having to do it this way, but... Like, because trust me, I would be 100% upset if I still had to go after this battle to Richmond and I lost a, a two-star 24-pounder with 14 guns. I mean, seriously, that would have been catastrophic. But right now, I don't think it is. Because, uh... Their units are getting... Like, these guys got Jocelyn's. I don't know if you know about the Jocelyn, but... Um, I, f I figured it out. I figured it out that... Look at the Jocelyn again. It's got 736 for damage. It's got a fire rate of a 150. You know what I'm saying? And 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 here's the thing of why also I I I didn't mind spending 50 grand for each one of these is because of the melee of 80. Like, like they're not, they're, they're, for some reason they're not charging and that's okay. Um, maybe they're not the size that they would like to be or, or have the, uh, the, the, the perks or the, uh, the stars. I mean, they, they don't, they look like they're broken. I mean, they look like they're broken, so. So, so before that stupid artillery made that mistake of going in here and getting gobbled up, I mean, look at they're getting chewed up by these jostlings. I mean... Because these, these guys can fire at a, at a faster rate than whatever gun these guys have. And it's, it's just the dwindling them. But, yeah, but you have to do realize though, even though these units are small, they're in a semi-circle and they're hitting one unit, so the moment he loses his morale, he'll fall from the line. So I gotta get him over here. And this, this, and Woods has the artillery buff. But I lost my artillery unit was here because... I mean, I, I tried to point him to shoot at somebody. Instead, he took it as a walking command, and he and and by the time I caught it, it was too late. So so you know, like because it would have been nice to still have him sitting here, because these guys are much closer. Imagine the uh, the shell shot that it would have been. And like I said, this twenty here is shooting that unit. Now this 20 is shooting him, I guess. Now we don't... I don't... Hey, let, let's see if the siege weapons can kill... Oh, he's shooting this guy right here, but... Let's see if we can kill the general just for the fun of it. So I'll have two uh, two siege weapons 
on the general. And I'm gonna move this cav down here. Because he's gonna come, my cav's gonna come down here seeing they're not attacking me. Oh, he wants to shoot at the cav. So then I'm gonna charge the cav on him. I'll take an initial hit, but. We got the Remington. There we go. Now you come on down here. And and, and this really doesn't matter because like I said, consider when I finish this battle, it's the campaign is over because I already did Richmond, so So getting this this capture isn't gonna do me any good because because I already won the war. So what we're gonna try to do is just for the heck of it, of what I would do. Matter of fact, I can come over here and kill this gun if there's nobody here. So let, let's see if there's anybody here. If I can kill this gun, I could probably grab these two supply wagons. And we'll just charge in because of the simple fact that we want to wipe him out. Well, that gun is shooting me, but I'm going to get that supply wagon. And now we'll come get the other supply wagon. And we'll kill the gun that shot at me. So as soon as he, as soon as he grabs this, he's going to charge into this gun. And matter of fact, I'm gonna have this infantry come down. Okay, so the J the general made a mistake. The general made a mistake. He came over here to get the supply wagon. And so I'm going to get the supply wagon back, and now I am going to kill him for, for making that mistake. You want to get that? You're going you're gonna to die in the corner. You are going to die in the corner. Yep. And look, these infantry... They're, they're gonna come try to get the supply wagon. They're more concerned with the supply wagon than fighting by other units, you know what I mean? But that's okay. I mean, it, it is okay. Because it just means I can probably go on the offensive. But, but, no doubt, I am gonna kill this guy. Like, that. They might get their supply wagon back, but I'm going to kill their general. I am going to kill their general. Yes, I am. And like I said, um, it's not like I have to conserve my troops. Like, I already, I already won. So, I think we can all come down and attack. And I'll move this gun. I'll move. I'll move this gun over there. I'll tell him to get out of here, and he'll go right here just for the heck of it. So yeah. So I guess I guess they changed their mind. I guess they changed their minds. So I'll have the sniper shoot him and I'll have this one shoot him. I 
My okay, so my cab's gonna have to come over and get this guy. They're even bringing a support unit over here to help out. Yeah, I mean... Okay, well, like I said, the Jocelyn has uh, 80 uh, melee. Alright, you come down and get this guy. You come down and get that guy. You come down this way. And like I said, even if I lost the cavalry, like I already lost the 24-pounder unit, which, you know, like I said, nobody wants to lose a two-star. 24 pounder unit, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially it's, it was 14 of them. But like I said, you know, it's kind of odd doing this in reverse order of the campaign, but it's just a, it's just a simple mistake I made. And the, and the problem that I can tell you why it is is because you, you don't realize that I, I have to play many games and um, and going and, and 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 doing both of these campaigns at the same time, and also, you know, then I have to take a few days break, and then I get back into it. So it gets a little confusing at times. So you know. Okay. My well, like I said, uh, you know, like I said, if, if I still had Richmond ahead of me, I would have been a little bit more cautious and a little more. And like I said, uh, and I and I honestly believe that if if I had made that, if I still had to do Richmond and I made that mistake with that twenty-four pounder. I would have scratched this whole thing and started over. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, because, you know, you normally would not want to make a mistake like that. You have to really pay attention to that. And I know Panda and Johnny made a, made a thing where it probably gave me a message up here saying my military, my artillery is moving, but I, but when I was so concentrated in what was going on over here, I totally missed it. You know what I mean?
Okay, I don't know what's going on over here, but I'll tell you what. See how they like to flank? He's right here flanking my guy. But yeah, like we still got two hours and I'm just goofing around in this. Not even too concerned about this. Yeah, this guy's getting really... I mean, all these units are shooting at him. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Let's see. It's kind of funny uh, doing a battle that doesn't mean anything because <laughs> I already beat Richmond, you know what I mean? At least this was, uh, like I said, the units are small, but um, it was an equal battle. Like, a, like, like we had e equal uh, battles, so, so I'm a little happy about that. But Walton uh, really got beat up. He killed 861, but he lost 389. But yeah, I, I, I'm really, I really like this Jocelyn weapon, though, I'll tell you. So whenever it comes into the campaign, it, it might be a, if you have some money, it'd be good to probably get at least enough for a unit. So if I were to do this again, I would be thinking in that those terms. But like I said, you know, I, I, I went into the JMP T10 not knowing how it would turn out and here it is. A 
And like I said, I would have... I would have done this battle slightly different and be a little bit more cautious had I not already finished Richmond. So it's kind of weird, but I would have done it. Like, I, I don't know if... I wouldn't have been as, uh, as aggressive, I guess. I'd be content on letting them come at me, I guess. But, the thing I could say though, is that this 5th Corps would have gotten, exp like, like, you know, this 5th Corps would have gotten experience, which would make them better to then have to go into Richmond. I mean, I got, like, I had like a hundred thousand recruits, and I'm sure out of this battle here we'll get veterans. But the stats won't be that high, but... And if you look at this poor guy, he just wiped out that unit. Of course, though. Yeah, look it. He's... Okay, let's look at this as an example, right? He's got the Jocelyn, right? All of, all of them do. He's killed over 2,000. And he's lost 599. I'll let, I'll let this guy get on it, Moody. Yeah, Moody lost 71 and he has 9 kills, so... If, 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 Pe if, uh, Petty, Perry... Killed 2,000. I mean, that is outrageous. I mean, he was he was in the right spot to do that, I guess. Yeah, look at and even this guy, he's got 2,000 kills, and he's only lost a hundred. This, this guy's exhausted. Oh wow, I can't believe that this gun, I mean this, this, I can't believe that I have burnt up a hundred thousand in, su in supply uh, for these cannons. Like I didn't know that they eat the can, they, they eat the ammo like that. We are absolutely out of ammo. So we need to go find their supplies, I guess. I thought I did capture one, but I must have sent... I was worried about them capturing it back, so I must have sent it out. I should have kept it. Yeesh, that's a mistake. That's, so that's mistake number two. Mistake number one... I, I lost that 24 pounder. Mistake number two, I sent their supply wagon out. <laughs> and my supply is empty. And 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 poor uh and poor Walton. He's lost so much that if he gets shot once by their artillery. But, you know, I gotta at least try, right? Okay. 
They shoot him once, he's dead. Yep, he's dead. And now they're all gonna run after it. They're all gonna run after it. <laughs> oh man. They're all gonna run after it. Yeah. Alright, I got half of a supply wagon left. I got a half a supply... Like, I cannot believe I went through a hundred thousand dollars in supply. Like, I... Wow. These guns suck up ammo big time. I did not know that. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we, we are gonna, we're gonna move out. We are gonna move out and attack. Well, like I said, if I'm, if I'm out of ammo, I might as well go on the offensive. And I could probably use my general uh, to in order to try to get those supply wagons. Alright, so again, we're gonna get these uh, guys to shoot at this guy. They need to get some experience anyway, and you know, whatever. But, like I said, it's just gonna be kind of funny. Yep, yeah, he's gone. Let's go over here. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Alright, so we, we are just gonna go ahead and keep on going after these guys. I mean, we got the objective, so... Now I gotta be careful with that spy wagon there, because if he sees it, he'll go after it. gonna do that um, come on yeah I know Like they're not gonna get it, I don't think, or maybe. Got it! Okay, well you got ammo, so get going. And you you already have pretty much full ammo. Get going. 
All right, so Okay, so it looks like the enemy is up there, so we'll send all the guns up there. We we'll sent all the guns up there and um and it does and it ain't like I need the money, so the the supply wagons the enemy supply wagons will supply those guns. Alright guys, you got your target right there, so you go do that. And if you consider they did not, uh, they didn't breach us, um... I, I won't be able to charge these guys because these guys are tired. I charged them for to get the supply wagon. Alright. Well, this is going to be over shortly anyway. I just had to... I just had to get this battle in because, like I said, I totally missed it. Like... So you have to be careful of that when you're when you're playing this game. That they have some battles hidden way down at the bottom of the men uh, of the screen, and, and and plus I must have I must have labeled uh, my save files wrong. Well, it appears that we have them, and these guys are just here, so why don't I send them up there? It'll take them a long time, but and this guy is finally rested, so maybe he can go right here. Okay, so, so they see the supply wagon, so they want to come get it, but Moody is right here. So if they, they get into Moody's fire zone... You know... Okay, it, it's a victory, so... Okay, I didn't get a total wipe, I mean... Maybe this, you know, the way Pander and them made it, they took time away from these battles. Even if you add some time, it's still not enough time, but... And, and look at them all here, so I mean, it was, it was pretty... It was, uh... It was pretty even. I mean, they had 22,000. I had 21,000. They had a thousand cavalry. I only had 500, and and I only had a hundred left out of it. 84 to 81. So the guns were close. But even even with all the catastrophes that I did or the mistakes, I lost 3,000. They lost 15, 13, 400, and they were missing 1,500. The golds. Units. Yeah, so Perry was in that that Perry Perry and Crocker apparently were in some really sweet spots. But especially you'd say Crocker, because Crocker only lost 105. And he killed 2,000. And even Perry though, Perry, you know, I mean he lost 600, right? So that's that's half of what he is. But he got 2,000. So these these were the two that were in certain spots where they could just keep shooting away. But it's interesting that I, I ran out of uh, $100,000 of supply. And my other supply was down to 50%. So that, that was kind of interesting. 
So yeah, I'll just, I, I didn't know if I paged the whole thing, so I'll go ahead and page it just for the heck of it. So officers. Oh, and Kelly Walton was wounded. And I and I rescued uh, 2,500 of my my Jocelyns. I rescued 2,500. So okay, that, that's it, folks. Uh, that is it. So as you can see, we got almost 200,000. We got 60,000 recruits, like a, like a, like like as if I need them, and uh, we have a thousand right, extra because of 1,500, right? So again, uh, this is my my first core that has two iron brigades. Uh, that's the only three star u units that I have for infantry. But everybody else is a two star or a three star for artillery and a, and a, and a, uh, a sniper. You can see I had this core here, all two stars. And a couple of three on on artillery, and this core here, uh, a couple of two stars, a few, right? And then the rest were rookies. Just like these are all rookies, except any two star unit that you see here, they're all rookies. And then here I lost somebody, so you know I could put somebody in, but. But yeah. And look, I, I would have had another three-star unit right here. I would have had another three-star unit, and 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 this this guy would have been, you know, a, a two-star. And then I would have had. It looks like thirteen hundred and twenty-five uh, veterans. But again. These were all rookies, so, you know what I mean? It's kind of immaterial. And I and obviously the only point I could put is right there. That's what that would have been. But, anyways, I don't know what to say. Um, and 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 in adv and in, in advance, you already know now that I have already completed uh, Richmond. So. So, uh, so maybe, maybe I'll, I can I can upload these these three videos like this video and because I think I made uh, Richmond two videos so, so yeah maybe I should I should I should post them all at the same time because you know what I mean I already beat it <laughs> but anyways but it it was fun. Um, um, and that's the way it is. I mean, I don't know what to say about it. I'm, I'm done with this campaign. Because uh, there's no way I'm going to do Richmond again. Um, I, I'm done with this one. I still have to do Washington. So that, that's none, that, that'll, that'll have to be later on. But at least I got this done. So I think this is a good, this is a good point to just say, you know, I, I'm done with the Union campaign. So... That's it. There's nothing else I could really say. So no matter where you are in the world, have a great day, great afternoon, great evening. Please take care of yourself. Be kind to others. God bless you and your own religion. It's your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos, and adios, the lovely amigas.